right now. Good Monday morning. It's May the 29th and the time is now 6.30 a.m. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Wanye Reese alongside the superb meteorologist Alex Spores. My co-anchor Caitlin Heck has this Memorial Day off. And of course it is Memorial Day, so we are remembering all those who gave the ultimate sacrifice yes. for our country today. And the good news is, at least on, on the holiday front, is that mm -hmm. we've got a decent forecast to work with today. Well, listen, we'll take it because I felt like we were kind of dealing with like a little yeah. fake summer over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> right, a little tug of war between yeah. summer and winter. Uh, old man winter giving one last uh, shove. <laughs> no, yeah, we, uh, we <laughs> had a weird weekend. Winds on Saturday gusted close to 40 miles an hour. That was all thanks to the coastal low pressure system that came ashore in South Carolina. Brought tons of rain to the Carolinas. We got the coolness and the wind from it over the weekend. Looking live over downtown this morning, still cool. 58 in Macon, 8 in Warner Robins, 57 in Dublin, 55 in Perry, 61 in Milledgeville. But we are dry across central Georgia this morning. Going to remain mostly dry this afternoon. Not completely dry, but mostly dry. I'll show you that in just a moment. But first, 58 in Macon, 8 in Warner Robins, 55 in Cochrane, 57 in Dublin, the cool spot Eastman at 51 this morning. Uh, take a look across the southeast, fairly uniform, at least in our neck of the woods. Some more 70s once you get back down towards the coast. 72 in Houston, Texas this morning. There you go. If you're walking the dog down there. So 70s back here in central Georgia later this afternoon. I think we get to about 83 before the day is over under mostly sunny skies. A great forecast today, but scattered storms will return. I've got those details in just a moment. Thank you, Alex. This morning we are following two drownings that happened less than three hours apart in Bibb County this Memorial Day weekend. One of those drownings is confirmed, the other suspected. We start off in Lizella, where a four-year-old is dead. Deputy Coroner Lonnie Molly says a child was at a gathering on Grace Terrace when he apparently wandered off and fell into a pool. Emergency crews took him to a local hospital in Macon, but doctors pronounced him dead just after 3 p.m. Molly identified the boy as Rent Gosain from Marietta. Miley says it appears to be an accidental drowning. This morning, the search will resume for a missing swimmer at Amerson River Park. Crews spent nearly four hours searching in the Okamogi River for 20-year-old Raymond Ellison Jr. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office says Ellison was floating on an inner tube alongside friends when he disappeared around 5.30 Sunday evening. They said they looked and they saw him behind them. They looked away and then when they looked back, they didn't see him anymore. Lieutenant Linda Howard says none of his friends witnessed Ellison going under the water, so they're treating this as a possible drowning. Yesterday, you could see the Megan Bibb County Fire Department getting in and out of the water with gear. Meanwhile, many of Ellison's family and friends, along with many park goers, waited outside the tape for some news on Ellison. Um, right now, they are going, they're che checking land, they're checking the waters also. Authorities ended their search at 9 last night. Lieutenant Howard says they'll pick the search back up this morning in about an hour at 7.30. Of course, we'll be updating you on this story on air and online at 13WMAZ.com. A 13-year-old girl is dead after her ATV flipped at her family's home in Dodge County. Dodge County Sheriff Brian Robinson says it happened on Yurdy Cemetery Road near Grant Road Saturday afternoon. He says a family member found the teen's ATV in the woods behind the family's home. Dodge County Coroner Joe Smith identified the girl as Caitlin Holland. Robinson says she was a student at Bleckley County Middle School. The sheriff says GSP is investigating. It's 634. Memorial Day is a day to honor those who died while serving in the United States military and to recognize the sacrifices made and the legacies left behind. Megan Western went to Warner Robins to see how these brave men and women are being remembered. Seven veterans organizations came out to place flags on grave sites of some of Central Georgia's fallen soldiers. Now volunteers tell me they did it with such gratitude. There were even young children helping to place flags. And as they walked the rows, several veterans say it was emotional seeing the names of friends. Air Force veteran Tom Grabowski says the event reminds people what the holiday is all about. Sure, it's about barbecues and three day weekends and time on the lake. Uh, but at its core, it's important to pause, take a moment, and remember the people that gave everything so you could have that barbecue. Monday at 11 a.m., the American Legion will host their annual Memorial Day ceremony, where they will honor the more than 2,000 fallen soldiers laid here at the Magnolia Park Cemetery. In Warner Robins, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. Very beautiful tribute there. This tradition is known as Flags Inn. It started back in 1948, not just in the U.S., but overseas as well. 
Well, in just a few hours, the historic Linwood Cemetery is hosting their annual Memorial Day program. They will be honoring and remembering those who sacrificed their lives while serving in the armed forces. The program will be at the historical Linwood Cemetery on Walnut Street at 11 this morning. Catching you up on things that happened over the weekend, folks in making got to enjoy the weather with some live soul music and soul food. People brought their lawn chairs and tents out to Henderson Stadium for the Soul Jam Music Festival. It brought a crowd from as far as Florida and Alabama. And for people closer to home, they say this event is an annual tradition. I love how they do this. I come every year when they used to have back in the days, the main thing. So Ms. Brown says this year she's sitting in the bleachers, but one year she was dancing on the stage. This year's performers included Big Mike, Westlove, and Stan Butler. And some of Linda Johnson's favorites. I love Heat Wave. Those are one of my favorite singers group and Atlanta Star. Ooh, I love that old school music. This year marks the 28th Soul Jam Festival. DJ Earthquake says the event was dedicated to Otis Redding III. Getting you now to your state news. Over the weekend, a man died after he was hit by a vehicle at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. Police were called to the airport at around 11.50 a.m. off of South Terminal Parkway. When the police arrived, they found a 62-year-old man who was hit by a vehicle. The man was critically hurt and later died at a local hospital. The department's accident investigations unit is still investigating. All right, bringing things back closer to home. Hundreds filled Reeves Arena at the Georgia National Fairgrounds over the weekend to celebrate Houston County Schools graduating class. Seniors at Warner Robins, veterans in Perry High Schools walked across the stage. Houston County and Northside seniors graduated on Friday afternoon. You could see seniors smiling from ear to ear, dressed in their caps and gowns as proud parents cheered them on. Now, one of the proud grads walking across the stage was Carlos Gomez, who graduated with honors. He says he plans to go to Middle Georgia State and major in criminal justice. It's great. I mean, I get to see my friends like graduate with me and like you could see like the small group of friends, you know, every click that you have, it just, you know, you see them also and they're ready to go and uh, fulfill their dreams and their passions and everything like that. So congratulations to this graduate for graduating from Perry High School. Your family, they are so happy and I know proud for you. Joseph Frazier Adams is an honor grad from Perry High School. Joseph will attend Georgia Southern University in the fall. His family says he's kind, smart, and extremely driven. Noah Simmons graduated from Mary Persons High School. Your family is so proud of you. Kanisha Relaford would like to say congratulations to his son, Jalen Relaford. He graduated from Central High School. Congratulations to you all from all of us here at 13 WMAZ. Keep singing in those photos of your great grads to 478-752-1309. Make sure to tell us their name, where they're graduating from, and why they're so great. And we'll continue to share those photos right here on 13 WMAZ Morning. Almost a million veterans have dedicated their medical records to scientific research. Next, what this study is looking at and how you can help out. Plus, two of Megan's pools are open. We'll tell you when you can enjoy them. All coming up next. The time's now 6.39 here on this beautiful Monday morning. Alex, we're happy to have you back here with us. Oh, a thanks. year older and, and I know. seems like you had a phenomenal birthday weekend, which you deserve. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I went to the Braves game on Thursday, and then you saw Connor reporting in South Carolina over the weekend. I was uh -huh. up there with him for the SoCon tournament. Unfortunately, Mercer didn't win it, but hey, they win made some, a run. You lose so. some, yeah. yeah, there you go. I'll tell you what, though. I'm kind of glad they didn't because I was tired after <laughs> the third game. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> Here we go with a live look over downtown. We've got the sun coming up on this Monday morning. It officially rose about 10 minutes ago. Uh, temperatures cool this morning. It was a weird weekend, right? It's been a lot of the weekend in the 50s. 58 now the current number in Macon. Winds out of the north at about 3 miles an hour. The radar picture is quiet across central Georgia this morning. 52 is the cool spot down in Eastman. 53 down in McRae. 57 in Vidalia. 58 in Macon and in Warner Robins. 59 in Roberta. 58 in Forsyth. And 61 in Milledgeville. There we go with the statewide temps. Much of the same across the state of Georgia. 60s up in Atlanta. Rome 54 in Athens. 66 in Brunswick. 55 in Savannah. And really there's not that much of a difference across 
across the southeast either. We've got 60s on up into Virginia, 50s into the Midwest. In fact, the same temperature in Lexington, Kentucky, in case you were wondering, has making this morning. So here we go for Memorial Day today. Some partly cloudy skies by the noon hour. One or two isolated showers will be possible, especially areas down to the south. But anything we do see today is not going to be long lived at all. We're going to be looking at it and we'll get it out of the way here fairly quickly and we're not going to see a whole lot of it anyway. So I like our chances of staying dry today. A great day to head out to the pool, a great day to cook out tonight. We're going to be talking about a great Memorial Day forecast on into tomorrow. Temperatures not quite as cool to start, but through tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be a bit warmer, see a bit of an increase in the shower activity, but then also the humidity across central Georgia on into Wednesday. There we go with temperatures in the 60s to start once again, some increased activity for Wednesday afternoon with maybe even a storm or two mixed into the picture. Thursday is the first day of June. That is the first day of meteorological summer. It is also the first day of hurricane season. Now, luckily, we're not talking about anything in the tropics uh, anytime soon, but we are going to be looking at an unsettled pattern continuing into the weekend. So hurricane climatology, here we go, June 1st. That is going to be the official start of hurricane season. Now, I, I like to remind everybody, don't expect a switch to flip and we just all of a sudden turn on hurricanes. Instead, what's going to happen is we'll see a gradual increase through June and July, and then August, we flip the switch, and then we see a big uptick in activity, especially in the late August and September, the peak of hurricane season being September 9th. First names of the year, Arlene, Brett, and Cindy. We've got a couple interesting ones this year. Idalia, Jose, what else we got on here? We got Tammy, Sean, Philippe, Ophelia, and Nigel. Those are some interesting names for you for 2023. Out the door, looking at temperatures in the 80s later on today. 83 is what I'm going with for the high temperature below the average of 89. A mostly sunny afternoon after a cooler start. Winds out of the west northwest 5 to 10. Again, great weather to grill out today on Memorial Day. Green spatulas across the board for tonight in Central Georgia. There's the seven day forecast. A 30% chance of rain on Tuesday, Wednesday, and on Thursday. The bacon get their season underway on Friday. Great weather for that and into the weekend.